So writing this ukulele review took me on a path down the Goddy ukulele all our yesteryears. Keep watching. Yes, it's got a ukulele review day. Welcome back. As ever, this is your summary video review to the uh, video that's linked below every video. I've tidied up the links down there so they're all a little bit clearer and that's partly because I've added in another link where you can donate if you want to help keep got a ukulele going called Buy Me A Coffee. You might have seen the logo in the intro. Uh, and that's for people who don't really want to work with the Patreon system. Um, and that's because this site, as I say, is not sponsored by any brands. It couldn't be because these reviews would then be product placement, which is not what you want. You want impartiality. Um, so you'll see a lot of thank yous running there at the bottom of the screen. People are very generously donating to help keep this channel going and get new stuff coming your way. Um, and also, why not subscribe to the Got A Ukulele channel? If you hit the little bell symbol, you'll get notification of new stuff coming your way. Or why not just have a browse back through the videos that are there? There's hundreds of them. Lots to look at. Okay, as I said in the intro, it's a brand that um, I've got a bit of history with, really, and a lot of ukulele players have got a soft spot for. The brand is called Mainland, uh, which is a USA brand run by Mike Hater in Indiana in the USA. He's also the guy who has a big part in the Ukulele World Congress event. And uh, my first intro to Mainland goes back uh, about the start of my website. So I'm going back over 10 years and I bought a Mainland concert. Uh, I'd been playing ukulele for a few years before that, but they were pretty cheap. I then bought a flea. And the Mainland was my first solid wood instrument and it kind of really changed things for me i thought it was a wonderful instrument really chimey and pretty tone and a lot of people think the same thing they are made in china then brought over to the usa by mike who uh, gives them a final once over fits the tuners fits the strings fits pickups and makes sure that dogs don't go out uh, and checks them over and this one is one i first saw back in 2013 i can date that as well because i saw it at a ukulele festival and this is the mainland uh, tenor gloss with slotted headstock and this was a departure back then for mainland because until then they came with this rope marquetry which is their signature around the top uh, and they still come with those that's called the classic mainland and i remember looking at this and thinking that's odd a mainland without the rope marquetry my first one had the rope marquetry but I quite like it for being that, that simple uh, look. And this is now the only, you only get the slotted headstock if you buy this one without the rope marquetry. If you don't get the slotted headstock, you can have the classic in gloss and satin, and that comes with the rope edging, which I do like. Um, but I really like the plainness of this one as well, even though it does pick up fingerprints, they're everywhere. Okay, this is made of all solid mahogany, and it's really nice mahogany, isn't it? It's, it's deep, rich, orangey red, there is some really interesting sort of flame going on. The reflections are impossible for me to uh, rule out in this light. Two pieces on the top, two pieces on the sides. Yes, two pieces on the sides. Oh no, they're single piece sides. That's interesting for a tenor. Single piece sides, two pieces on the back. Really shimmery on that back, as you can see. And I think it looks lovely for it being simple, but pretty and understated. Uh, it's, a, it's a double back tenor, traditional shape, and I really like that. I uh, don't think it needs the decoration. The bridge is kind of a little bit old fashioned now with these wings. Uh, they're not overly big, I've seen bigger. Made of rosewood, tie bar style with a bone straight topped saddle. As I say, no other decoration at all. This one only comes finished in a gloss, and it is a really nice gloss, although there is quite a bit of pooling here around the fingerboard end, which you'll see on the pictures. You'll also see on the pictures, and I can't find it now for the life of me, is I noticed a mark, and I thought I'd scratched it. It's about here somewhere, and it only shows up in daylight. Uh, I thought, as I say, I'd scratched it, but I hadn't. It's a mark underneath the gloss, so it's a little bit annoying, a little bit irritating. Um, but I can't find it. I had this at home and been playing it for three weeks and didn't see it at all. And then I saw it when I took the pictures outside. <laughs> How odd. But I have to mention it because it is there. Uh, other than that, though, really thin top, as you can see. Inside, extremely tidy. Notched uh, kerfing, really thin bracing. Some interesting angled bracing down here as well going on. 
All right, let's move on. The neck is made of mahogany. Uh, it's quite a lot paler than the rest of the body and I think it stands out a little bit and you can see that joint really heel clearly at the heel. You can't see the joint at the headstock so much. It's also a little bit old fashioned as well. It's got very much the traditional Far Eastern rounded back and the nut width is only an average 36 mil. 28 g2a i can play that but i'd like it a bit wider um that is topped with a rosewood fingerboard which as you can see from the gloss it's got to it is in really good condition not dry at all really nice and even in color bit of end shaping at the end there really nice rosewood that is edge bound as well which hides the edges of the 18 frets joined at the 14th so there are and there are no sharp fret ends at all as i say mike checks these over very carefully he wouldn't let it go out with that with sharp edges this is really really tidy um position markers in pearl face out at 5 7 10 12 and 15 but 2021 still no side dots i really think mike should look at getting those specified as standard now the standard on pretty much every ukulele and i think he's missing out by not having them okay beyond that bone nut as i say slotted headstock model only comes on this uh, variety uh, i really like slotted headstocks the mainland logo though as i've said before about these is a little bit lost you can see that sort of rope finishing to the logo but at a distance would you know it was there it really stands out on their darker headstocks their classic headstocks but i think it's a bit lost although i do like this sandwiching of the darker mahogany on the top the tuners are unbranded uh, side mounted open gears with pearly buttons but looking at the gearing mechanism they are very good quality no gripes with those at all and this comes finished as all mainlands do with a quila strings if you want to pay a bit more you can get one with a cutaway you can get one with a misi pickup fitted by mike but in this vanilla if you like uh, flavor in the uk at least this is 270 pounds people might think well that's quite a bit of money it isn't it's mid-priced in fact it's low mid-priced and when you think about it a solid uh, pono mahogany instrument with no decoration just their standard gloss mahogany would probably cost you well over 400 pounds this is actually very good value for money okay I really like what I'm seeing. Okay, there's one or two little gripes. The mark that I can't find. I like the bridge a bit smaller. Bit of pooling with the gloss there, though very tidy inside. Side dots really should be there now. Personally would like the nut a bit wider, but I know a lot of people like a skinny nut, so that's just me. Uh, but otherwise, the build is very, very good. No issues that I can find, and as you can see, it's perfectly balanced. Uh, it's also light. 635 grams that is light for a tenor i think it doesn't feel like you're holding much at all really nice and light and resonant let's have a play though now the thing about mainlands uh, that a lot of their fans will tell you is that yeah they do know that there are one or two little gripes that sort of get through finishing details but you need to remember these are not made in hawaii these are not handmade instruments in that sense although they are being checked over by mike um and they're not priced i mean these aren't thousand pound instruments this is 270 pounds but what the mainland lovers will say and i've said before is that of every mainland i've ever played i don't know what it is in the build they have but they have a really nice sort of bell like chimey quality as you can hear volume really good really good no problem with that at all the sustain is good not the best but not far from the worst i think a string change could really change that up but there's enough sustain there to make finger picking a little bit interesting now all solid mahogany woody dark is that what you're expecting well i would expect but with mainland you get this chime that's not to say it's overly bright it's balanced everything's clear Pretty, really nice, really nice. Like that. 
finger picking, really chimey, bell like. All the way up here. Really like that. Nice one, gets a good score. Little tiny gripes, but they are small, but I love the look of this wood. Uh, it's a really nice instrument. The mainland uh, tenor gloss with slotted headstock made of all solid mahogany, uh, made in China, but finished off in Indiana in the USA by Mike. Um, a brand that's liked by a lot of people, and I can fully understand why. I think a lot of people go back quite a number of years with the mainland brand. But they're still available, and if you're new to the instrument, I really would recommend you check them out, because this is a lot less money than something like a Pono Solid would cost you a lot less money. And, um, you know what, sound-wise, sound I think they're kind of certainly on a par. Uh, and in fact, I really kind of prefer the mainland sound, that sort of chimey sound. Um, yeah, really like them. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, I am back, I think, next week. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be taking more breaks, more regular. I've just got to keep an eye on my, uh, my health uh, and whatnot with the God of Ukulele channel. But I hope you're enjoying these. And um, I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks as ever for watching, and I will see you soon. Have a very good week ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.